What's up guys, it's your boy Flick once again, bringing you another episode of Dropping Knowledge. In today's video guys, we're going to talk about how not to be in a rebound relationship or how not to be involved in a relationship where either you're the rebound or you're making somebody the rebound guys. So the number one thing guys, what happens is after a breakup, the first thing you want to do, the first thing that we all do, including myself, is we want to go out there and go look for someone to fulfill our needs because we are feeling unappreciated, unloved. They broke up with us or we just broke up. So we want somebody to fill that void. But what happens is that, you know, you end up being in a relationship with someone that you might not even love. So what happens, guys, is those relationships, 95% of the time, those relationships don't go anywhere, guys. What you have to do, my simple solution now, when I was real young, when I was, you know, in my early teens and early 20s, guys, every time I broke up, the first thing I would do is try to find love with someone else. And I always, in the back of my head, yes, I was in another relationship, but deep down, I was still missing that other person. I was still feeling empty. I was still feeling that void. It wasn't until my late 20s when I started realizing, I, you know, after a real rocky relationship, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to sit out and I'm just going to wait, give it time, give my hard time for me to heal. I want to venture out and, you know, see what my options are and meet people and just give myself time to heal. Well, guess what, guys? Time after a breakup, time is your friend. Like they say, time heals all, right? And in time, you know, as as the days went by, as the months went by, I started feeling less heartbroken and I was more open into being, you know, in a genuine relationship than in a rebound relationship. So guys, if, if you're in a rebound relationship right now, if you're with somebody that just broke up with someone Chances are that it's really just to keep each other company, but it's kind of tough for love to grow as they still have feelings for someone else. I would suggest on my end, walk away from those type of relationships because they're, they really go nowhere. Either you're going to get played or you're going to end up in a situation that you don't want to be in. And at the end of the day, guys, you know, you lose. So if you're going through heartbreak, sit out, be tough, toughen it out, you know, give it some time, give yourself some time to heal, hang out with friends. I'm not saying you're not, you shouldn't date. Yes, go ahead and date, explore your options, but don't jump into another relationship trying to seek that love and trying to fill that void. To me now at my age, that looks very, very childish. And I letting you guys know that all the times that I was in a in a relationship where I either I was the rebound or they were the rebound, it it never worked out because the feelings weren't weren't genuine and I was just looking for someone to help me fill that void, help me fill that empty space that that other person left, guys. So if you're in if you're in that situation, take a step back and just give yourself some time to heal and walk and learn to walk away from those type of relationships you know they're very toxic at the end of the day you don't want people hating you you don't want to end up in a situation that you pretty much can't get out of you know and then you wonder why bad things happen to you or why things don't break don't uh work out you know what can i say guys do not be the rebound i would say just walk away and give yourself some time guys give yourself some time to heal give yourself some time to you know think think things through and the only the one of the reasons too what happens is that uh you could be in a rebound relationship and then months later their ex-boyfriend or their ex-girlfriend all of a sudden comes back in the picture well what happens to you you know you get left there in the cold heartbroken because you pretty much were trying to jump into something or you were trying to get this person to commit and at the end of the day they ended up you know going back to the ex you know ex-boyfriend ex-girlfriend etc etc 
that's happened to me too, guys. That always happens. And the, the solution here, guys, is someone just broke up. I know a lot of people like to like to say like, oh man, she just broke up with a boyfriend. It's time for me to put it put in my work. That's a bad idea, guys, because there's a possibility that you're just going to be the rebound and you're going to be left out in the cold, disappointed, hating the world because, hey, they did me dirty. You don't want that, guys. So I uh, hope you guys uh, like this video. I'm going to try to make a little bit uh, more videos based on this topic. I just wanted to do something quick about why you shouldn't be in a rebound relationship and how to avoid it. Just pretty much walk away and find people that, you know, have been single for a while that have given themselves some time to heal and they're ready to jump in into a relationship. If, 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 if a relationship is what you're looking for, you know, so guys have, have a good one until next time.